So, uh, I think all I can do now is go to the dunge. Gotta level these characters up. Kitty kitty. Always start at floor one. Best way to level up faster. La Rosa, Dungeon Fear. All right. Meow. Meow. Might skip most of this. <laughs> what is this? What was that? Oh, that's a new magazine! My butt friend is awesome, actually. I love this. I got more glue! Wow. <clears throat> Pocket takes a few tentative sniffs of the warm summer night air. Would you like to offer a gift? No, I would not, because I don't have anything for cats. You decide not to give a gift right now. He yawns and stretches luxuriously. The envy of yoga teachers everywhere. Wow. Mid yawn. Pocket pauses, strangely alert for fluffing. Calm down, kitty. You murmur re reassurance to Pocket, but he shrugs off. You off. A growl rising in his throat. Oh, who's it? Wait a second. It's the guy from the shop. A strange man steps out from the shadows, eyeing you both. <laughs> all right, all right. You guard kitten found me. Don't attack. I'm Vetus Varnus. I was just taking a break from the shop. But here, I'll give you a special deal. Two fabric for $10. Basically half price. Sounds great. Then we're done here. Stay safe. Venus Varnish strolls through back into the dungeon. Pocket hisses farewell. I actually needed more fabric, so that is fantastic. That is quite the deal. Get out of my way, bug! Are you gonna follow me the next rap level two or no? Okay, all right. He is over the limit. Oh, my nose is going crazy. Relax. Sawyer's face lights up at the sight of pool tables and cues. Finally, another long weapon to talk to. Uh, that's just a pool table. It's been forever since I chatted with a pool axe, friend. Pool axe? Hi! Hey, pool Q. How's it going? Knocked anyone over by accident lately? The pool Q doesn't respond. It's not a person. <gasps> oh! So your size. I just wanted to make another long friend so badly. How embarrassing. Most weapons are light and slashy. I feel self-conscious around them, being all unwieldy. We all feel self-conscious. You're great the way you are. Wait, what? No. Ah, uh, Thanks for say saying, even if you don't mean it. And if you do, just shh. <laughs> Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah, I think I got something for Sawyer. I don't got anything for Sawyer. You want some makeup, Sawyer? Okay. Wow, that's so nice of you. Thanks. <clears throat> Let's go back to it. Okay, next weapon. You. <clears throat> Are you serious? Uh. J 
Jesus, that's a lot. Masculine yet artful. I love it. Thank you. Little umbrellas or smoke or foam. Or at the very least, so much ice skating. Mm. Maybe it's. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've read all this before. Beat downs. Come on, grab. What? I can't grab it. Oh, let's smoke. That's bad. All right. Anyways, whatever. Just one piece of glass. Oh, okay. They're all. They're all good. Ooh, Master Frizo. Oh my. Um, this isn't really my kind of thing, to be honest. I hope you didn't do this for me. I hate the big public displays and convenient shorthand. Convenient shorthand, you know? I mean, I do like romance. I just want to be personal, special, just between two people. <sighs> and X and I once invented a whole secret language just for us. That's cute. That's nerdy. <laughs> she laughs softly to herself. Well, chopping up monsters together is plenty romantic for me. I don't have to give her gifts, actually. The rest of my gifts can be for the ones who still need the love points. <laughs> Last one is to to critical hit is a rotten egg. This is getting intense. <laughs> I love talking with you. No offense. I hate small talk. You don't ask the right questions. <laughs> huh? Maybe I don't. But it's not really my job to make other people interesting. The way I figure it, it's easier just to stick to people who are already interesting like you. Would you like to offer some learned gift? No, you decide not to give a gift right now. So let's get back to it. With this small area though, you're at a higher chance of heckling. That's the worst. Have you been heckled? Only a monster would heckle. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're right. Many clubs are full of monsters after all, especially comedy clubs. In my experience, hecklers look like normal humans until they open their mouths. They're like those treasure chests that attack you, you know, mimics? Uh. That kind of experience toughens you, though. Even when hecklers were at their worst, I still knew I loved dancing. And that, I was good at it. It was reassuring, in a way. Purpose and direction isn't the same as happiness, but... It's something to hold on to, like a hilt. Would you offer a gift? Nah. You decide not to give a gift right now. Come on, let's find some hecklers to take down a notch. A bar. Ugh. Fancy drinking, awful lot. No, I would not. Little umbrellas, mm. yada, 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 yada. There's no point. Yada, <laughs> yada, 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 win, win. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lord Ted. That's kind of sad. Woo! This ah! Oh! You suck, little one. I need help badly. What is over here? Yeah, let's hang out. Seven raises his eyebrows. Skeptical. <laughs> I didn't know you were so campy. It's like Cupid's nightmare in here. Hmm. I guess we're dating or whatever, but this is still not really my style. 
You're my fave wielder, so we can chill wherever you want. Would you like to offer a gift? No. I'll just hang out over here, if that's okay. No judgment. He waits patiently until you're ready to go. I'm ready. I have not seen a single boss here. Beware, Lolo. If you come closer, your weapon will see your true heart. Yeah. Show. I don't want to step in that. F battle your fear. It's a icy heart. did it or no there's something more what should we do I guess go into my heart there's no more back here right there's tons of money back here what is this time to go in what's in my heart a strange thing looks you up and down smirking appreciatively I finally made it through this crazy dungeon. What is that thing? He looks amazing. He looks like a dunge with glasses. You realize they're familiar, but you can't quite place it. <laughs> hey, good looking. Come here often? No? What are you? Worst pick of life. What are you? You've been afraid of intimacy for so long, but you don't even recognize me. I feel like you're the dunge itself. Call me Dungeon Boyfriend. It was me all along. When you saw the sexy scenes in movies and looked away, I was there. When you first imagined someone's lip on, lips on yours and froze, I was there. Not just physical either. Remember when you first started hiding your true self? I do. I may be a dungeon and I know I'm not the only one you've been grinding, but wow! <laughs> I know <laughs> I'm not the only one you've been grinding. Give me another chance. I've kept you safe from being hurt, being used, being violated. Hmm? I've been by your side so long. What would your life even be without me? I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> Bold. I'm sure you have plenty of other fears, but what about poor old bo dungeon boyfriend, huh? Give us a goodbye kiss, won't you, for old times' sake. Go to hell? No way? Come here, you weirdo. You feel the dungeon itself lean into you, hungry for your fear, but finding nothing left to devour. As he fades against your lips, you feel your confidence grow even further. You close your eyes, truly at peace with intimacy at last. I don't know if I wanted that. The boss is defeated. A new plushie can be found in your apartment. Fear of intimacy conquered. Nicely done. We really are stronger together, huh? It was definitely because of this weapon I was able to to surpass this these levels. I uh, the area attack was amazing. Is there a new dunge popping up? Do I have a new fear?
Pretty sure there was so many more chests and so many more everything. I don't know how high my wielder level can be. First rate. Go home. All right. So uh, let's start with crafting table. Mystery novel. I actually want to wield... Uh, craft the novels. I want to craft the zines. Oh, wait. That's not a zine. Wait a second. This one's a zine. I need more cloth. Alright, so... Holy smokes. Everything wants my cloth. Everything wants to take my cloth. Ooh. All right. Phone calls galore. <clears throat> what is going on here, Jesse? Okay, so I know you're leaving town soon, but I think... I know how to defeat Eric's monster, which, by the way, now that I, I've looked it up, Eric naming this monster Masamune is Riddick. Somewhere out there, there's a gorgeous Japanese man I'd call Masamune. But this weirdo, I'm just going to call him Katana. Anyway, here's the plan. You beat him up. That's it. That failed last time. Genius. That's it. Well, okay, there's one other element. We're going to lure Katana into Eric's forge where he was made. And then I'm going to do some blacksmithing magic, weaken him. Then you can spring out and fight him, okay? You know magic? With my bare hands? Not my bare hands. There's weapons everywhere. Hey, I've been taking blacksmithing classes. We'll see. <coughs> Woo. When you're ready, call me from a w the weapon shop. Keep your weapon friend sheathed. Hey, as a surprise, you know how weird Eric gets when weapon folks are around. It'll probably be a pretty tough fight, though. Make sure you're ready. Really ready. Super ready. Like, train 12 years for this moment ready. Aren't we in a hurry? What if he attacks? <coughs> Woo! <coughs> oh, run away, I think. You're safe during the day, though. Okay. Thanks, Jesse. All right. I got people who wants to talk to me. Seven. I have a big decision to make, and I can't figure out what to do. I'm here at Paradise Lost, hoping the cats will keep me calm. I'll be there. Yeah. Mom, 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 mom. Jesse said not to worry, and I'm now I'm worried. You've gotten so strong and independent this summer, but I'm still your mom, and I'm still here for you. So, is something wrong? I'll handle it. Yeah. Is something wrong? I'll handle it. Yes. Oh, no. F. Okay, okay. So I can't come, but I'm there with you in spirit. And my tarot card says everything's related. You probably know who's hurting you. Bring the fight to their doorstep. But if you decide to just hide in your apartment till the time to come home, that's okay, too. Thanks, mom. <clears throat> I don't want to lie to my mom. You're coming home soon. I should probably hide it, but I can't wait. Haha, <laughs> mom, chill. Chill. No, I'm not gonna say that. What that? What's that mean? Smiley face. Wait. You better not be thinking of staying here forever. I mean, I suppose you becoming fearless and independent, but I gotta come home first. You gotta come home first, okay? I miss you too much. I know, mom. Okay, I'm trusting you. Come home now, and then, baby bird, please. Feels like years since I dropped you off at the airport. The house has been so quiet without you. What do you want to eat when you come home? Whatever is fine. My favorite. Let's order a takeover. Whatever is fine. Anything's fine. Okay, dog food tartar. It is. Just kidding. We can figure it out when you get here, love. See you soon. 
Eric. I'm out of the hospital, by the way. Not that you care. My near-death experience made me realize I have to come clean. What did you do? Talk to a priest? What did you do? It's hard to know where to start. I stole parts of weapons of people to make Masamune. A chip from a dagger. A pin from a lightsaber. Oh, and so on. I had fallen in love with each one, but they turned me away. All of them. After they rejected me, I felt like they took a part of me with them. So I took a part of them. I thought I'd reshape it into something new, something beautiful. But it knew my heart better than I did. So it became a monster. And you became a stalker? You're the monster. I don't want to call him a monster. It sounds like he's been hurt. So each weapon he's been with rejected him. That's why he hates weapons so much. Yeah, I was obsessed with your every small kindness. I'm sorry. I really am. You don't know what it's like being unloved. Everyone loves you. You haven't been cast aside over and over and over. Okay, that's not my fault. You'll find someone. Don't patronize me. We both know I always be alone. Sorry, sorry again. I shouldn't make excuses. I don't deserve your pity. I'll figure out how to put things right somehow. To put things right, I need help. I can't deal with Masamune on my own. Please. You might be the only one strong enough and he's already fixated on you. You don't have to forgive me, but until he's dealt with, he's dangerous. I've already sent Jesse instructions. Pocket. It's weird. I don't know your name. It's Lola. Who are you? <laughs> it's Lola. Cool. I'm Tank, a personal trainer. Nice to meet you or whatever. I'm letting Pocket out. Not sure where he's going, but he didn't eat breakfast, so he's probably hungry. Okay. Sawyer. What's up, Sawyer? I have so much left over. Vegan cheese everywhere, and I'm sick of grilled sandwiches. I thought my plan was foul proof, but here I am, a proof fool. Fool proof, but here I am, a proof fool. Let's cook something else. Want to come over? I guess Sawyer's coming over. Let's cook something else. Yes, I'll be right there. Sawyer arrives a few minutes later. You wanna, is it, I mean, can I, let's get cookie, kiss me, kiss them. Let's get cookie. So, what are we cooking today, chef? I brought all my leftover cheese. Mac and cheese, pizza. Oh, I'm gonna say pizza. Whoa. Brilliant, I knew I could count on you. By the way, this cooking thing isn't just a flirting tactic. I mean, it's that too. I tried Googling cheese recipes, but they had all these complicated instructions. I even looked at a few for pizza, but there were too many options. One of them had like 50 photos of a vacation of, to Austria for some reason, too intense. I probably could have figured it out myself eventually, but I haven't really been sleeping. Too much stress? Don't worry about it. Want to sleep over? Don't worry about it. Easy for you to say, you don't have raccoons living in your vents. That is very strange, Sawyer. Well, and I guess summer finals are coming up soon too. And I'm starting to wonder about everything. It's not a warm, fuzzy feeling. Sawyer, I just realized, is taking classes during the summer. So they're really trying to advance their education really rapidly. Even if I get straight A's, Am I wasting the peak years of my life going into debt? Ah. And for what? I'm studying history, burying my nose in the past while the future burns. You could change majors. What would you rather do? Your peak is still ahead of you. What would you rather do? No idea. I've been excited about so many things and then none of them worked out. I love playing video games when that doesn't see mean I want to make them. Mm. If I quit school, maybe I could do something to really change the world. Volunteer for the next mayor's election campaign, maybe. If I wait until after I graduate, I'm being selfish while people suffer. But you're the coolest person I know, and you graduated college, so... What do you think? Would you make the same decisions? If you could, go back to in time. Nobody can decide this for you. Follow your heart. Finish what you start. I am the type of person who likes to finish what I started. 
So if I started something, I want to finish it to completion. Like even if I'm not enjoying it anymore, I still want that acknowledgement that I completed it and that I am capable of finishing the things and the tasks that I start. That's probably good advice. Half measures are bad, right? I don't really know what I want, so it'd be silly to throw away what I have. Except, I know I'm drawn to you. With your support, I feel like I can do anything. Oh, new love rank. Love rank 4. Let's see. Immobilize lasts longer. Laugh throw goes further. I don't need a further throw. Even fight a boss battle like making pizza from scratch. I know I helped last time, but maybe this time I should just watch. I mean, if I touch it, I'll just ruin it. Nonsense. Be brave. I believe in you. Okay, I'll show you how. Nonsense. Be brave. Okay, yes, sir. Sawyer beams with excitement. Fist clench. Are they powered up? Let's do it. Yeah. Okay, chef. Careful with the knives. Okay, chef. You help Sawyer follow the steps for a pizza. Margarita from scratch. Soon enough, you, you're you eating the fruits or the starches of your labor. <laughs> I love pizza. Italian, American. It's all good. And this, yours might be my fave. This is actually better than the restaurant food. How? You're like the dream of a boyfriend. Sexy, kind, and a great cook. Wow. <laughs> wow. Plus, I just realized we have leftovers for breakfast. This is the best. But it's getting a bit late. I should get some sleep before my exams tomorrow. Raccoons or not? Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah. Um, Sawyer, Sawyer, Sawyer. Sawyer. How about some gloves, Sawyer? Do you like gloves? I don't know. How about this uh, McQueen perfume? Wow, so adult and look expensive looking. I'll try it. Thanks, Lola. Ah. So, um, I don't mean to be a burden or in the way. And I feel weird asking, but I can't help thinking it could would be so ah. rad. Can I sleep over tonight, please? It's it's okay to say no and change your mind, really. This is isn't a BMB. My couch is yours. Just get comfortable. Maybe some other night. Uh, just get comfortable. Oh, I'm already comfortable. Wait, that isn't what you meant, is it? Yeah, it, it is, yes. Yes, it is. You feel your heart beat faster in a moment of silence. Oh, oh, I see. I didn't, I didn't mean any more comfortable than this. You spent some time on a couch together. It's cozy, so it's eager and wide-eyed. After a moment, they stop you with your fingertip to your sternum. What's a sternum again? What's a sternum, guys? Is that, like, on my neck? I don't know. Let me know, please. <laughs> Can you, can you show me? It's, what's sternum? What's a sternum? It's, I don't want to do anything wrong. You guide them gently with your hands and lips. You, your breath hot as it mingles. In the morning, they're rushing late for class. Again, always late, Sawyer. Stop being late. Got a jet. Thanks again, chef. Bye. Sawyer gives you a hesitant, shy kiss goodbye. Their lips warm on your cheek. The door closes softly behind them. Oh, oh. Sawyer needs something else. Help, urgent. What is Chow Chow's other title besides Chancellor? Who? Why? Who's Chow Chow? I'm gonna say why. No time, please. Chow Chow's other title. Emperor Hani. Emperor Da of Wu. Emperor. Wu of we. Who is Chow Chow? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's that Emperor Hani. Besides Champ Chancellor. So I know it's Emperor. Da Wu. Thanks. I don't know if that's correct. S sweat. I don't know if that's correct. You feel a bit woozy and fatigued. A, a sudden sneeze interrupts your thoughts. You wonder if you're getting sick. What is going on? Sorry about my last message. I was in the middle of a test. I shouldn't have had you help me cheat, especially since your answer was wrong. Haha. <laughs> really sorry. We'll do it again. In fact, to make up 
for it. Here's a pic of a cute dog I saw in the park. He looks so derpy. <laughs> That's so amazing. Oh, I, I constantly do that. When I'm looking at a picture, what do I have to press? Oh, just, just the same button. Well, how did I get all the way to the top? Aw, haha, <laughs> thanks. Aw. How are you? I think I have a cold. Don't feel great. I think I have a cold. Literally, my nose is running. Oh my god, hold on. They're here. You sniffle and cough. Your throat and nose feel raw and sensitive. Hi, Sawyer arrives after a few minutes. Whoa, you look awful. I mean, uh, you definitely have a summer cold, but check this out. I don't know if you believe in stuff like this, but you must have a guardian angel. Just this morning, I had a sudden urge to make chicken soup. Maybe I'm a telepath. Did you burn down your door? I'm <laughs> just lucky. I've had weird dreams. Did you burn down your door? How did you know there was a fire? Was it on the news? I put it out really fast. I didn't know there was a fire. Oh, you were joking, ha huh? <laughs> ha ha. No, silly, I've been learning from you. Look, my crowning glory, chicken soup, a personal medicine for Lola's common cold, <laughs> made with my secret ingredient, love and message. I mean, I didn't know it was for you when I was cooking it, but I'm sure it still tastes good. You haven't tasted it? I can't wait to eat it. Here, let me help. You get comfortable and I'll take care of you. This is awesome. Sawyer pours two servings of soup and you sit down together. The soup is unusual. There's a floral scent and the broth is a gray blue color. That is strange. And you, as you dip your spoon, the surface wobbles. There's no way this is normal chicken soup. Bon appetit, I bet you're go going to love the soup a la Sawyer. Eat the soup? So what's in this exactly? I'm just gonna eat it. You bring the spoon to your lips. The floral scent is stronger and slightly rotten. What? In a moment of bravery, you take a sip and swallow. Love rank number five. Okay, let's see. High heat. All finishers also set enemies on fire. Because you can't cook. That's a good one. <laughs> it tastes fruity yet familiar. And the texture is chewy. A warmth spreads from your belly. Watching you, Sawyer's face changes into fear and dismay. You feel as if a soft golden light has wrapped itself around your shoulders. I think I'm dying. <laughs> What's happening? You lose consciousness. Lola! Lola! <laughs> you wake up feeling refreshed and energized. Sawyer's by your side. Oh my jeez. Are you okay? I'm so, so sorry. How long was I out? I feel amazing. What happened? Whoa. You look amazing. You know how actors always have eyeliner on when they wake up? You look like that. Wow. But I found the problem. I use cough syrup. Like, a lot of it. Oh. I guess that works too for a cold. You realize that's why the soup tasted familiar. Cough syrup. You feel like gagging. I thought it'd just add a fruity flavor and maybe some sweetness. Like a blueberry syrup. You wonder how to break it to them that blueberry syrup would also not belong in chicken soup. I mean, maybe the syrup helped. You look much better than before more alive maybe soup a la sawyer is actually a healing potion even more than bubble tea thanks thanks it also knocked me out <laughs> hey that was some seriously healing sleep i should mix more and sell it though i'll have to stock up on more cough syrup or blueberries while they're in season anyway now that you're awake i should go study for my last final can i give you a gift before you go so i can love you up but first, I got you a little gift. A thank you for all the cooking lessons. Woo! Headphones! The same ones you're wearing. You don't have to use them, but I thought it might have fun. You might have fun with headphones in the dunge. I love them. Hey, well, I'm sorry again that I asked you to cheat for me. I just got too worked up. Next time, I'll think of your disapproving face. That'll keep me on track. I'm not your dad. Think of me kissing you. If you say so, I'm not uh -huh. your dad. I know that, but I can still want you to think well of me because I'm a telepath, remember? Anyway, you be good too. Enjoy the rest of the soup. Bye. They give you a quick kiss goodbye. 
Sawyer waves and closes the door softly behind them. That was some amazing soup. Okay, where, where, Sawyer, Sawyer. Sometimes I feel weird about being a glaive, like I'm being, I'm told that's the best word for what I am, but it's sort of just means sword. Glaive sounds cool. What about Gladius? Gladius? Glaive sounds cool. Thanks. I can live with it if you like it. I can live with it if you like it. Okay. Strange. I gotta end this playthrough. Uh. Bye bye.